It's only a couple of years ago where um, I wasn't a Christian. Christianity was a, a nominal issue for me. It took my mother's passing away for me to realize that, um, that I was weak and I was broken, that I needed to be fixed. Obaro and Mrs. Obaro. The love they've shown to me I have not experienced before. I have not experienced before and it's hard to define unless you go for it yourself. So if I advise you, befriend them and you may find a new type of relationship a loving relationship, an open one, a very generous relationship. very beautiful, very loving. She's very giving and she has very strong biblical morals as well. The parents have built in a foundation which is hard to shake. You can't shake that. And I look forward to the opportunity of, um, if we're blessed with children, to bring them up in a similar manner. Many of those who know me a couple of years ago would have said, Zebedee, you're a bit humdrum, a bit boring, a bit, you know, not that exciting, no longer clubbing, no longer doing this. Um, but from meeting Anu, I've realized I've had, I have a new life. I have this urgency to make change, this urgency to live life to its full, but to the glory of God. Zebedee and Anu have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. <laughs> As it's been said many times, when Jesus came down to earth and then died and went back, he came to serve. Although he was a king already, he came to serve. And I'm here to serve you under every capacity I can. 